Welcome to the commencement exercises for the Hartsville High School class of 2022. I would like for everyone to know that we've talked with our students on a daily basis this year about self-respect and respect for others. This issue of respect is one of the keys to improving relationships, a daily school climate, and behavior at all school events, including graduation. This morning, we ask that you respect others near you by remaining quietly seated during the entire ceremony. We'll be here only for a little more than an hour, so please don't get up and leave after your graduate marches. Please turn off all cell phones or set them on silent during the ceremony. We ask that you not detract from the dignity of the ceremony by yelling out or otherwise creating a disturbance when names are called. Please know that those who choose to disrupt our ceremony in that manner risk immediately being escorted from the arena by one of the law enforcement officers seated in front of you. Also know that we sincerely hope that this does not have to happen. Thank you in advance for your cooperation and help us provide ceremony that our graduates deserve. The members of the class of 2022 have requested we observe a moment of silence in recognition of their classmates, Rashad Tariq McCoy and Deontes Jerome Nashan Freeman Mason. Thank you. Please stand at this time for our invocation and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance to our nation's flag and our national anthem and the Hartsville High School alma mater. Please bow your heads and join me in prayer. Dear Lord, Thank you for this day and giving us the opportunity to gather here together and celebrate the Hartsville High School graduating class of 2022. Thank you for allowing us to endure through these past years that have been filled with uncertainty. Lord, thank you for giving us graduates the strength to reach this great milestone. Thank you for the loved ones you have placed in our lives who believed in us and pushed us to be the best versions of ourselves. Thank you for the teachers and staff that provided instruction and guidance. Thank you, Lord, for the treasured friends and bonds made over the last four years that we will forever carry with us. Dear Lord, be with all of us as we embark on new adventures as we enter the next chapter of our lives. I trust you have great things planned for each and every one of us, allowing us to prosper and bring about a hopeful future. Inspire us to believe in the goodness of life, even when faced with adversity. Watch over us with your protection as we take the next step forward, and let us not forget the blessings that have followed behind us. Amen. Please remain standing and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. All males, please remove your caps. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing while members of the Hartsville High School Singers sing the national anthem, followed by the Hartsville High School alma mater. Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that such thing look better yet wait? For the land of the free and the home of the
hopes on thee was our guide. We look to nothing else but try to do the task that came to hand. Without thy aid nor yet we plan to make our purposes confined. Themselves to aims mature divine. Twice then we came within thy fold to learn of thee thy truth behold. O Alma Mater, Mother dear, thy name we love, adore, revere, revere, adore, we love thy name. O hearts still high, always the same, in constancy and purpose clear. O Alma Mater, Mother Please be seated. Welcome. I would like to start by saying thank you to everybody who made this day possible. We couldn't have made it to graduation without the help of Hartsville High's faculty and staff, as well as our friends and families. Welcome everyone to the graduation of the class of 2022. This day is the result of 12 years of our efforts. From late nights and long days, we have all had a different path that led us to this moment. Together, we have shared the experience that is Hartsville High. I could spend the next few minutes talking about all the things we know we will remember from high school, but instead, I'd like to talk about the future. One quote that has been on my mind this past year is a pearl of wisdom from the band Queen. You had your time, you've had the power, you've yet to have your finest hour. These past four years have been our time. Though we have all had an unconventional high school experience, every moment has led us to who we are today. The idea that we have yet to reach our finest hour has been important to me these past few years. During high school, it can be easy to feel like these days might last forever. The fact that the best is yet to come for all of us is both comforting and exciting. None of us really know what the future is going to look like, so I asked my peers for their expectations. In asking my fellow seniors this question, I got a range of answers from ironic to serious. Some of the soon-to-be graduates felt that the only way to go was up, while others said that they were simply optimistic. Some felt confused, and many were nervous but excited. Regardless of how we feel about the future, it's a gift that has been given to us. The next step isn't about starting over, it's about building on the lives that we have already created for ourselves. Every person in this crowd today has been resilient enough to make it to this moment. One of the most exciting things about today is that our futures are up to us. Not everything in our lives will be easy, but all of it will be worthwhile. We have the opportunity to experience whatever life may give to us. I'd like to say that I'm proud of all the graduates here today and I'd like to thank all the people who made this possible. Congratulations to the class of 2022, and may you all have your finest hour. Long ago, in ancient Greece, when formal education was for the very rich or the very determined, a wise old teacher was approached by a group of noblemen. One of the noblemen spoke to the teacher. Our sons have completed their studies, and it is time for them to return to their homes and live in the style befitting their station. On the morrow, we will hold a great banquet in their honor and expect them to be dressed in their finest garments. The old man smilingly answered, they will be there, and he added, appropriately dressed. The following day, the banquet hall was filled with royalty and nobility dressed in dazzling jewels and costly finery. Then came the great moment when the students entered with their beloved teacher. A startled cry arose from the crowds. 
For here there were young men dressed, not in their garments of the noble, but in simple sack top robes, each carrying a motor board, the sign of a common workman. Let me explain, spoke the teacher as he raised his hands for silence. Your sons are dressed in the clothing of the mason, for their destiny is to build. Some will build cities, some will build lives, perhaps one of them may even build an empire. But all will be builders on the solid foundation of knowledge. And thus, over the years, the cap and gown have become a traditional part of graduation, symbolizing the fact that our young men and women are builders of their own future and the future of the world. I am pleased to introduce our distinguished guests in attendance today. Please hold your applause until everyone has been introduced. Darlington County Superintendent, Dr. Tim Newman, Darlington County's Legislative Delegation, Representative Robert Williams and Senator Gerald Malloy, Darlington County School District Administrators, Mr. Benjamin Brown and Mrs. Renee Douglas. Darlington County School Board Member, Mr. Charles Govan, Govan. Hartsville High School Principal, Mr. Corey Lewis. Hartsville High School Assistant Principals, Mr. Thomas Andrews, Mrs. Stacy Gore, Dr. Hannah Hoylett, and William, Mr. William Lennar. IB Coordinator, Ms. Paula Alvarez. Director of Athletics, Mr. Brad Boob. Class of 2022, I'd like to start this speech with some lyrics from the late great Gerard Anthony Higgins. As we go on, we remember all the times we spent together. As our lives change, from whatever, we will still be friends forever. First and foremost, I want to thank all of our teachers, administrative members, custodians, cafeteria workers, and our wonderful guidance staff for helping us get through these four long and eventful years. Today, to motivate us as we move into a new chapter in our lives, I'm going to tell you the stories behind the 19 guys that are your 4A lower state baseball champions. Trion McFarland, this sophomore has a lot of expectations in his life with his potential as an athlete. Trion proves that you can work hard to meet all the expectations set before you. Josh Jones. This senior was a third string catcher last year, but over the summer, Josh put in the hours and put in the work to become our first baseman this year. He proves that if you work tirelessly towards your goals, then you can achieve them. McKendry Douglas. This sophomore is not only QB1, but was one of our best starting pitchers this season. He proves that anyone can rise to the occasion, no matter how old you are. <clears throat> Jackson Moore. This freshman was in eighth grade last year when he got his starting spot at second base. He proves that anything is possible. Andrew Askins. This junior, this junior shows so much grit, it is amazing, because he did not let his injuries during his football career prevent him from coming out on the baseball field and working hard. He proves that any setback is not the end of the story. Quez Hadley. This sophomore puts his heart into every pitch he pitches and gives his all when he's out there on the field. He proves that great things happen when you put your, all your heart into something. Cam Candarella. This senior could come out to practice and have an attitude that he is better than all of us because he is, because he is going D1, but he does not. He proves hard work and determination can create something special. Daniel Parker. This freshman has always challenged himself and it shows with his talent on the field. He proves the importance of preparation. Cole Winburn. This sophomore has immense talent and has worked hard in football and baseball to get where he is today. He proves that talent needs to work hard to be successful. John Alexander. This junior has had a few elbow injuries in his life, but he did not let them prevent him from continuing to play the sport that he loved. He proves that every setback has an even better comeback. Garrett Parker. 
this senior got his chance to start on third base through his hard work at practice last year. He proves that it is important to always be ready for when you get your chance, because when he got his, he made the most of it. Ryan Jordan. This senior lived in the gym this summer and transformed his body into the best shape of his life. He proves that you should work hard for what you want to accomplish. Joseph Dixon. This senior has the best attitude of anyone you will ever meet and is always lifting up others. He proves that a good attitude will get you a long way. Roddy Morris. This senior is one of the main leaders of this team and inspires us through his speeches. He proves the importance of leadership in a good team. Junior Barnes. This junior, although being a quiet guy at practice, works hard and does not let what happens off the field affect how he plays on it. He proves that even though situations may change, you cannot. Adam Grabiak, our junior governor school teammate, came into a team of guys that grew up playing together and had a tight bond, and he fit right in. He proves that being in an awkward situation as a new guy is not actually a bad thing, but can turn, turn out to be something beautiful. Ryan Thompson, this senior is going to play college, going to, going to college to play baseball at Methodist University next year, which is a great accomplishment. He proves that determination takes you to the next level. LV Fullwood, this senior hardly makes excuses and leaves his heart on the field in both baseball and football. LV proves that, there, that when there is a will, there is a way to get better each and every day. Lastly, yours truly. I took the most challenging classes and still went out on the field every day to compete. I proved that you can do both, be an IB scholar and an athlete. On the outside, you may see us as baseball players or student athletes, but in reality, we are 19 guys who each have unique stories that are the reason we are who we are today. Lessons can be learned from each member of this team. Being around these guys every day motivated me to become better each and every day. There aren't 18 other people I would have rather gone to war with every day. I will always remember this team and the times we had. I hope all of you can take something away from these stories as we all move forward into the next chapter of our lives. One last thing I want to leave the class of 2022, as well as the friends and family of the graduates, is a quote that is plastered in the, on a mural in the Clemson baseball dugout. It reads, Be great where your feet are. So no matter where you end up in life, I challenge you to be great and do something great. We are judged for not only what we do in our lives, but for the legacy we leave behind. Positively impact those around you and leave the world a better place than when you found it. With that being said, thank you all for letting me speak before you today, and let's get this show on the road. Brado out. It is my honor and privilege to introduce the principal of Hartsville High School, Mr. Corey Lewis. Thank you, Lakin. Again, I would like to welcome you to the commencement ceremony for the class of 2022. To our superintendent, Dr. Tim Newman, who is traveling to three different ceremonies this morning, will hopefully join us at some point during our ceremony. Our county's legislative delegation, Darlington County School Board members, and our school district's senior leadership team. Thank you for your leadership and support of all of our students this year. To our faculty and staff, thank you for your commitment and willingness to give of yourselves for the sake of ensuring that our students are prepared to meet the challenges that await them. At this time, I want to especially acknowledge Ms. Ashley Birchfield, Ms. Robin Jones, and Ms. Linda Fountain. Those individuals are retiring this year after many years of dedicated service. Students and guests, please help me show our appreciation for the service these individuals have provided to our school. To the families assembled here this morning, especially the parents and guardians of our graduates, thank you for your commitment to our partnership. The impact that, of that commitment is symbolized by this ceremony. 
Uh, for many of you here this morning, this moment is a rite of passage that you've dreamed of for years. I struggled to find something I felt would be meaningful to share with our students this year. I kicked around several topics for several months. I missed several self-imposed deadlines to get started on my remarks because I wasn't confident that the ideas I had were meant for this group of students. Then I attended our choral concert last week and I heard Ms. Olson's students beautifully sing, You Do Not Walk Alone, composed by Elaine Hagenberg. I knew at that moment that the message found in this piece of music was what I needed to share with the class of 2022. While this is an exciting time, it can also be a time of angst. Many of you will be headed to college or technical schools to further your education. Others of you are headed to the world of work, and a few of you have opted to serve our country by joining the armed services. Whatever your situation may be, it is more than likely this is the first time you will be out of the nest that has been the safety of your guardian's home or your family or friends whom you've attended school with for the past 12 years. However, remember, you're not really alone. The lessons you've learned at school, home, and in your churches will always be with you. Let's quickly take a few minutes to reminisce about some things that occurred over the last four years that will help you remember that you're never alone. Think back to August 20th, 2018. Do any of you remember that day? That was the day you arrived on campus. You had on your new clothes, new sneakers, and did everything you could to avoid letting anyone know how nervous you were about the first day of high school. I must pause and admit something to you. August 20th, 2018 was my first day as principal, and I too was doing my best to hide how nervous and uncertain I was. Many of you had no idea where your first class of the day was located. I will not call names, but I remember a few of you sitting through an entire class before realizing you were in the wrong place. <laughs> then there was trying to figure out what lunch you were to report to. Once at lunch, you had looks of confusion as this was the first time you'd encountered hundreds of students in a cafeteria with no restrictions on where to sit and no direct adult supervision at your tables. But you quickly figured out that there were others here able and willing to help you with your transition. With the assistance of some helpful upperclassmen and our faculty and staff, you quickly settled into the routine of life as a high school student. During that time, I've seen many examples of you making sure your classmates didn't feel alone. Members of the Red Regime Marching Band benefited from their supporters who traveled with them each weekend as they marched their way to a first place finish at the Lower State Championship. Logan Berger felt the power of your presence as his arm was raised in the air three times over the course of his four years of high school as a state champion wrestler. There were many days when I witnessed Braden Mays intensely studying for IB assessments. At a table nearby would be Cage Hodges, studying just as intently. As the days drew closer for IB finals, both students understood they would be graded as individuals, but they both displayed an air of confidence that was gained from the many hours they set together preparing for the challenge. Within the last week, I recall Alyssa Poston pitching her, her heart out in game two of the lower state championship finals, and Olivia Martin and Kendon Dawson constantly encouraging and reminding her that she was not alone on the mound. As Hartsville High School 400 meter record holder and state champion Jonathan Flemister exploded out of the blocks at the state track meet, he benefited from his coaches, teammates, and supporters who traveled to Columbia early Saturday morning to make sure he knew he wasn't alone in his quest for a title. Once the ceremony is over, nine senior baseball players will turn their attention to game two of the state championship series. I know that our seniors know they're not traveling to Greenville to take on Eastside alone. Red Fox Nation is with you. 
One of the things that I hope you will remember about the time at Hartsville High School is the commitment we've made to helping others. IB students joined the city of Hartsville and provided more than 100 hours of volunteer work at the historic Marion Avenue Cemetery. JROTC cadets logged more than 200 hours volunteering at Camellia Gardens and working with the Darlington Raceway Easter Egg Hunt. Psychology and Beta students worked with the American Red Cross to collect approximately 300 units of blood. The Fellowship of Christian Athletes, National Honor Society members, anchor club members, and Mr. and Ms. Hartsville High School contestants gave their time and effort to help children throughout our community feel as though they are not alone. As you leave Hartsville High School, know that you are going to run into peers who are homesick, who are stressed because they are finding college assignments difficult. You may be faced with supporting coworkers or fellow soldiers who are struggling to perform their jobs due to worries about a parent's ill and health, struggling with problems with their spouses, or struggling with children not doing well in school. While you continue to benefit from the comfort of knowing you don't walk alone, I hope that you accept the challenge of seeking out others who are struggling and making sure they don't have to walk alone either. Class of 2022, I appreciate you giving me just a few minutes to share my thoughts with you one final time on this special day. As I close, I leave you with the words of one of the world's most well-known philosophers, Dr. Seuss. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. As you continue to steer while on your journey from good to better to best, remember that you're not alone and your Hartsville High School family will be here cheering for you every step of the way. At this time, we will present diplomas to the Hartsville High School graduating class of 2022. Isaiah Deron Brown. Diana 
Shea Brown. Thomas Patrick Brown. LeBron Mitchell. Taylor Nicole Butler. Jaquez Deontay Bird. Linda Catherine Bird. Reginald Tavishaw Jr. Everett Rutherford Cady. Cameron Glover Cinderella. Isabella Storm Carpenter, Johnson County Board of Education Scholar. Reginald Ethan Carpenter. Rachel Yvette Carter. Great, Jane Cashin, Ann DeBose Coates, Christopher Ariel Coxfield, Johnson County Board of Education Honor Graduate, Connor Michael Collins, Johnson County Board of Education Scholar, International Baccalaureate Course Candidate, Jordan Grace Coffin, Johnson County Board of Education Scholar. Jalea Lorraine Cotton, Jaquez Desmond Covington, Andon Nicholas Daniels, Clifton Isaiah Davis, Kendon Atley Dawson, Jade Sherilyn DeJesus. Joseph David Dixon, Darlington County Board of Education Honor Graduate, International Baccalaureate Course Candidate. Matthew Ryan Dixon. Michelle Nazarene Dixon. Kayla Daisy Easterly. John Thomas Elliott. Darlington County Board of Education Honor Graduate. Rachel Elise English, Darlington County Board of Education College. Christian Lee Enzyme, Darlington County Board of Education Scholar. Tayana Latanya Evans. Timothy Ian Clary. Jonathan Flinister, Jr., Darlington County Board of Education Honor Graduate. Juan Jose Flores Perez, Jr. Haley Rain Flower, International Baccalaureate Course Candidate. Mike here, Jamari Frazier, Johnson County Board of Education Honor Graduate. Ali Jamal Fullwood. Mary Madden Gage, Johnson County Board of Education Scholar. Layton Sierra Gaines, Johnson County Board of Education Scholar. Shelton Gage Gaines. Brianna Lindsay Galloway, Johnson County Board of Education Honor Graduate, International Baccalaureate Course Candidate. Tricia. Rakesh Kumar, Ghani, International Baccalaureate Course Candidate. Brittany Lynn Gandy. John Bradley Gandy. Tristan Gage Gandy. Thomas Cole Gerard. Kaylee Janelle Gilbert. Tayana Tanai Gilbert. Irene Antonio Gis. Sudan Janae Sweet. Terry Claire Gore, Johnson County Board of Education Honor Graduate. Justin Abdul Grant. Emily Nicole Grant, Johnson County Board of Education Scholar. Blayton Thomas Gregory. Dallas Dwayne Briggs. 
Diana Amari Adler. Chad Alexander Paul, Darlington County Board of Education Scholar and a National Baccalaureate Diploma Candidate. Ainsley Elizabeth Townsend, Darlington County Board of Education Scholar and a National Baccalaureate Course Candidate. Walter Lewis Hammond, Shania Alexis Hammond, Courtney Brooke Hasty, Darlington County Board of Education Scholar and a National Baccalaureate Course Candidate, Angela Lacey Hayes, Jayla Shadid Henry, Akasha Alia Hernandez, Yadira Hernandez Flores, Caleb North Herndon, Kamariana Jamani Hickman, Kiasha Nateria Hickman, Tariana Janelle Hickman, Antonio Mario Hicks, James Cameron Hilton, Carson Hayes Hodges, John County Board of Education Scholar, International Baccalaureate Diploma Candidate, Liam Eric Howell. Mary Grayson Howell. Lauren Marie Hubert. Brianna Ayesha Hudson. Noah Philip Hudson, Johnson County Board of Education Scholar. Eric Scott Hubert. Bradley Alexander Hunt. Johnson County Board of Education Honor Graduate. Bailey Brooke Isley, Johnson County Board of Education Scholar, International Baccalaureate Course Candidate. United Infinity Jacks. Alita Shapira Jackson. Natalia Janelle Jackson. Tanisha Kalanga. Jackson. Michael Alex Jaworski, International Baccalaureate Course Candidate. Ethan Christopher Jeffs, Johnson County Board of Education Honor Graduate, International Baccalaureate Course Candidate. Christopher Ruth Johnson, Johnson County Board of Education Scholar, International Baccalaureate Diploma Candidate. Brianna Janice Johnson. Nakia Shikandis Johnson, Darlington County Board of Education Honor Graduate. Sean Brentwood Johnson. Terrence Devon Johnson. Joshua Hunter Jones. Ryan Timothy Jordan, Darlington County Board of Education Honor Graduate. Mason Sidney Kelly, Darlington County Board of Education Honor Graduate. Makaya Shatrice Ketter. Benson Knight. Zaki Jalik Knox. Darlington County Board of Education Scholar and a National Baccalaureate Course Candidate. Anna Grace Lohan, Darlington County Board of Education Scholar and a National Baccalaureate Course Candidate. DeAsia Jameer Lawson. Brendan Riley Lee, Darlington County Board of Education Honor Graduate. Gage Nathaniel Lee. Maxiana Emilia Leon. Tristan Dakota Lysander. Tegan 
Jane Lillian, Darlington County Board of Education Scholar and a National Baccalaureate Course Candidate. Anna Celeste Lynn Morales. Ronnie Eugene Lynn III. Yashe Tamia Love. Destiny Ariana Lucas. Lauren Tamia Lucas. Russell Wade Luther. Deshaun Joseph.
Elizabeth Smalls, Anna Joyce Sid, Destiny Elizabeth Sid, Johnson County Board of Education Honor Graduate. Sean Marquis Williams. India Alexis Shante Williams. Robert Matthew Williamson. Precious Denise Wilson. Tristan Lee Wilson. Ryan Philip Winburn. Jacqueline Kristen Wyndham. Gabrielle Contessa Wingate. Diana Wingate. Grayson Bailey Wynn, Darlington County Board of Education Scholar and a National Baccalaureate Course Candidate.
I promised you we'd take as long as we needed to. One more round of applause for our graduates. At this time, at this time, I would like to acknowledge our superintendent, Dr. Tim Newman, who's been able to join us. Thank you, Dr. Newman, for being here. At this time, we'd like for all members of the Hearst High School Class of 2022 who have committed to military service at the graduation to stand and be recognized. At this time, class of 2022, will you please stand? <laughs> Seniors, by the power vested in me by the state of South Carolina, I now declare you to be graduates of Hartsville High School. You may move your tassels from your right to your left as you are now alumni to the alumni of Hartsville High School. Congratulations to you, to you and your families on your achievement. Audience, please stand for the recessional of the graduates. <laughs> 